I met Fela, it wasn't a chance meeting. It was preordained uh, because um, as for art, I was born into art. I came to the world with art and um, I firstly realized my talent uh, when I was like six years old. I love to draw. I went to primary school doing drawings and all that, secondary school. I didn't study art officially uh, in school, but the gift was so paramount, so strong. The passion was growing by the day. Even while I studied uh, to be a mechanical engineer, which was the purpose my father taught, um, he had for me. Yeah, so I was studying technical subjects and sciences, but I kept drawing. So in 74, my spirit said to me, I need to give myself a challenge. I have to do one drawing a day through the year. So in that process, people in my neighborhood already know my, my, my passion. I started doing portraits for people. I started getting paid for portraits. So I was like 17, 18. I was already earning money with my talent. And um, to achieve that aim of one drawing a day, I we wake up, pick items in the house, you know, do some still life drawing. Then I did portraits. Then uh, next door was a drink place. Uh, the man sold uh, drink liquor, and um, he called me. Surprisingly, he didn't commission me to do his portrait. Mm. It, Bruce Lee's film just came out. The film Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon. So it was huge. Yeah, yeah. And this man said he wanted me to paint the poster of Bruce Lee's film for him. You know, that was his commission. Yeah, so, and Bruce Lee's, uh, that film had three main actors. Bruce Lee, John Saxon, and Jim Kelly. So it's like portraiture also. <laughs> so I did that for him. I put in the graphics. Yeah, and he, he framed it and hung it in his drink place. That's item one that was leading me to my destiny without knowing it. Item 2, Fela released the album called Music of Fela, Rough Rock 5. I had seen Fela physically for the first time in 1972 um, in my school compound. I attended Yaba College of uh, Technology, secondary school. Uh, secondary so, school. yeah. So, Fela was a member of an organization called Nigerian Association of Patriotic Writers and Artists, P, um, that's N A P W A. The, uh, the acronym is called NAPWA. So, they used to come, have their meeting. After the meeting, Fela will give a free show. Uh, yeah! And I, I saw him, you know, as a student yes, in the crowd. I never would believe two years my destiny was going to cross. And I had been prepared for the role without even knowing it. So by 74, second item, Fela released the album, Rough Rough of Fight. I got a copy. One day I was playing it and my spirit said to me, why don't you practice with the cover? You know, just do your version of the cover. And the, the original cover had the fella photograph singing into a microphone. So I did an illustration of fella dancing on mud. Rafarofo in Yoruba means mud. The song was actually talking about a fight in the mud between two friends. And fella was chastising the friends and admonishing and warning them, so to speak, that be careful, there is mud around you. If you fall in the mud in your fight, you two will be robbed yeah, in mud yeah, and we yeah. won't identify anyone, you look like twins. You know, it was just a social, yeah, you know, a funny song. But I didn't illustrate that. I illustrated Fela dancing on mud because the vibe I got from the music was very jolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I put it in the graphics just as practice. Yeah. So I had it in my portfolio. So, a couple of weeks later, a journalist with Sunday Punch, um, there's a newspaper in Nigeria, you know, yes, The Punch. Of course, of course. Yeah, it used to be Sunday Punch because it started in 73 as a weekly every Sunday. Wow. So Babatunde Harrison was the journalist's name. Um, he came to drink that drink place next door. The bar yes, door, yes, yeah. And he saw the Bruce Lee enter the Dragon poster. Mm. So he asked them, who did this? They said, it's a small boy. Said, small boy, you know what I'm saying? The work was good enough that he, he was he surprised was that it's a small boy. Yeah. And journalistic instincts, he just said, I want to see the boy. So they brought him to see me. And he asked for my other drawings, so I brought out my drawings. And he saw okay. the fella. Saw that, saw yeah. That cover. yeah, and he said, ah, can you do album covers? I said, ah. actually, I've done two covers before then. Okay. So when Babatunde was asking, can I do album cover art, you know? I said, ah, you know, I wasn't yeah, too confident. You know yeah, to because, know yeah, because, yeah, I said, yeah. And he said, two days before that day, he and fella were talking about cover art. So I looked at him, I said, this uncle is drunk. Yeah. You know, I thought he I was drunk. Yeah, because I, I can't imagine. Uh, he uh, doesn't know Fela, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
And I didn't have any ambition. I wasn't thinking I wanted to meet Fela in the first place. So when he was saying he and Fela were talking two days ago, I took him with a pinch of salt. Right, right, right. So he said he was going to bring a Fela picture the next day from newspaper, uh, Punch newspaper collection for me as test. Just to see. Yeah, so he would take me to Fela. I said, okay. The challenge was the thing that was attracting me. I, yeah. I didn't care if it was like taking me to Fela, but bring the portrait, yeah. bring it off. <laughs> so he brought the photograph the next day, 24 hours, done. My mom was always supportive, so she gave me five naira yeah. to frame, 18 by 24. Yeah. Uh, yeah, glaze and frame. So within 24 hours, now I that know is... the man comes in the evening, so I was I waiting, you know, just like looking on the road. The moment I saw him approaching, I said, Uncle, I showed him from a distance. He said, ah. Ha, I'm not going to drink again. Let's go, I'm taking you to Fela. <laughs> so I started feeling like, ah, that means he's serious. Mm. So I told my mom, he wants to take me to Fela. My mom said, Be careful. Yeah. You know, Fela was already oh, notorious. Right. Oh, right. Yes, yeah. right. because of that, his community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the <laughs> ganja business. So, the man hailed a taxi, and lo and behold, I found myself in Calcutta. Just like a dream. Wow. Yeah, long story short, fella saw the portrait, he said two words, it was the first time in my life, he said, wow, god damn. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Papa. Yeah. Wow. You know, so, he ushered me, he said, come inside. <clears throat> so he wow. said, what do you, what do you, do you do? He said, give him some. I said, Fanta. They gave me Fanta. Wow. Then he said they should bring out his checkbook. And I'm looking. For yeah. yeah. And he wrote out a check for 120 naira. Ah. And those portraits I, I used to do, I used to charge 30 naira. That's a lot of money then. Of course, though. Yeah. Of because the naira was superior to the dollar. Yeah, back then? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The dollar was 75 Unbelievable. cents. Yeah. So he now uh, gave me the check. He asked for my name. He wrote and gave me the check. I checked 120 naira. Ah. I was even scared of the money, like, whoa. Okay. So my sister said no. So I just gave him back. I said, Fela, no, no, I don't want money. I give from the bottom of my hand. He was surprised. So he asked for a, a sheet of paper, a notebook really, that old exercise book. He tore out a sheet and wrote out, please admit Briara any show free of charge. So I just collected it. That was my visa, uh, my passport visa to Kalakuta and to my destiny. Yes, that and that was the beginning. Yeah, wow. that was the beginning.